Hey everyone, it's Joelle and welcome back to my channel. So for today, we're gonna be talking about how do you handle or deal with other people's reactions to your natural hair. But of course, before we get started, please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. And if you're the owner of a business, especially a black owned business, please send me an email at shermainjoyelle at gmail.com or go ahead and fill out the Google form link down below. But let's get started. Natural, Afro kinky, coily hair as we all know, is gorgeous and beautiful on its own. But oftentimes, especially out in public, it will sometimes garner negative or unwanted attention. Sometimes I will hear or read that because of these reactions, women or people don't want to wear their natural hair out. It deters them from wanting to wear their hair in all of its glory, basically. Trust me, I completely understand. For whatever reason, sometimes wearing your natural hair out just causes some people to just not act right. To act like they've had no home training, act like they've never seen a person of color in their life, ever. I have, <laughs> I have been in plenty of situations where people will have the most dramatic reactions to my hair. It does make you feel uncomfortable. It makes you be like, you know, I just wanna be invisible for for just like, just I'm just buying oranges. Like, <laughs> I just wanna be invisible for a little bit. Like, it's really not that big of a deal that my hair looks like this. You know, back in October, I uploaded my hair horror stories and a lot of those stories revolved around people's reactions to my hair out in public. For example, just being at the grocery store and I'm looking at apples and I look up and this guy in front of me just goes, whoa, and just walks off like, what do you want, a trophy for acknowledging how big you think my hair is? Like, so I'm here to tell you how I handle those situations, how you can handle those situations, or at least try and navigate those situations. Oftentimes, I just ignore them. I'm not going to give you any sort of validation or acknowledgement of your absolutely ridiculous behavior. You know, if you're staring at me and trying to get my attention by doing stupid things like this, if I see you, it's this this is all you're usually gonna get out of me. It's just like I'm not gonna be like, you're right, my hair's so big. Woo! Like I'm not gonna give you any sort of acknowledgement. Like, no. What are you, three years old, that you just all of a sudden lose the ability to speak and have to be just rude? It's just rude. I find it rude. Like, I don't care if you're just like, I think it's cool and that's why you're doing Are you incapable of just being like, I like your hair, and then moving on with your life like a normal human being? I don't see the point in just completely like having to do like a charades game. Just being, in, just making the situation uncomfortable. So when people want to be weird or just kind of gawk, it, I just usually ignore it. You know, it's not like you're coming at me, but for when you do, this is the other interactions that people, you know, which make a lot of us with natural hair uncomfortable is people want to always touch your freaking hair. Always, always. And I can't, and this isn't just for natural hair. I think black people with any, any hairstyle, whether it's weave, whether it's braids, whether it's an afro, whether it's straight, people always want to be touching your hair. It's ridiculous. How do I handle that? Just will tell them, you know, please don't touch my hair. I've realized that even just asking people to not touch your hair will not keep them from touching your hair. For example, I have, like I said, I have lots of stories of this. My family and I, we went out for breakfast one morning and this lady was like, wow, I really love your hair. Can I touch it? I told her no. So what she do? As I'm walking out the door, decides to try and reach for my head and I straight up just dodged her. I just, I, I completely dodged her. This isn't really in that great because instead of touching my hair, she decides to stroke my face instead. And instead of screaming and yelling at her, I just, I just, I just walked away. I was like, I'm already leaving. Unfortunately, I've already paid. Should I have said something? Probably, but I just, I didn't want to ex expend, I just didn't want to spend the energy. I was full and already in a, like halfway through a food coma. I just wanted to leave. But usually that's my first instinct I've realized is that I know that just by saying no, they're not going to. So I tend to just actually physically dodge them. I will put as much space between me and them as soon as they've uttered that they want to touch my hair. It's also gone to the point where I've even been in Home Depot where I, I know the look where they, they're just staring and smiling and looking at my hair and just kind of nodding. And I, know, I already know what they're going to ask. One, is your hair real? Two, can I touch it? I just smile and I literally walk the other way. I'm like, I'm already gonna put space between me and you because I'm just, I, no, I just get out of the area. Some people, maybe that doesn't work. <laughs> 
for me that has worked. I have avoided all awkward interactions with people and have avoided the can I touch your hair question just by simply just walking away. As soon as you acknowledge me, I'm gone. I also have some social anxiety, so maybe that's a little bit different and I'm extremely introverted, extremely introverted. You probably can't tell because I'm talking to a camera, but like in real life, I don't go anywhere. So when I do so go somewhere, I'm like, I wanna be in and out, in and out. So if I acknowledge you acknowledging me, I already know you're gonna hold me up for like 15 freaking minutes over my hair and I just would rather avoid that. This next one, I've only used this strategy maybe three or four times because again, now, I just walk away. I'm just like, I'm not gonna interact with you or give you any sort of satisfaction of interacting with me. But sometimes you have to flip the energy on people. What I mean is like the people who are just like staring in disbelief of you or just kind of like don't know what to think of your hair. So they just kind of like glare at you, I guess you could say, is uh, or they'll just be like, your hair's interesting. Flip the energy. I just go, oh my gosh, thank you. Isn't it great? You just go completely 100 optimistic on these people. My hair is great, I don't care what you think. Sometimes that works, again, I don't like to entertain that kind of energy, I'm just kind of like, get your bread, Karen, and keep moving, I just, just go. Like, I feel like when you flip that energy, you're kind of being like unapologetic about your hair. Like, or some people will just be like, wow, your hair's really big, and I'll just be like, thanks, yeah, I've taken so much time growing it, it's wonderful, isn't it? Like, they're, they're trying to put you down, but when you completely flip the energy on them, they're like, okay. It's like, no, you're not gonna make me feel bad about something that grows out of my scalp. Sorry, I don't have dog hair. Like, just, just go. Just, just go. Grab your crackers and go. You know, I like to tell myself that sometimes these people are just so in awe of my hair that they just lose the complete ability to act right or act like a decent human being. Like, they're just that much of chocolate. Honestly, I believe, that, I believe that to be true. I think some people are just so in awe of African American features that they just like, they just freeze or they forget to have manners. And if you live somewhere where there aren't really, there isn't like a huge African American like population or black population, I, ha I do have to remind myself that when people do see my hair, you know, I have to be like, you know, I remind myself that my hair is unique and beautiful and maybe not something these people have seen. It does not excuse the way that they react or choose to act around me, but I do have to acknowledge that my hair is unique. There aren't a lot of people in my area walking around with afros or giant voluminous, you know, kinky hair. Like, there just isn't. So I have to remind myself that you're literally like giving these people a culture, culture shock sometimes in their own town. Like, <laughs> they forget they're in America where it's diverse, but whatever. But honestly, honestly, I do not care what people think or how they react to my hair. It doesn't, in the, in the way that it doesn't deter me from like wanting to wear my natural hair out. I mean, if I did care, like, I don't think I'd be almost four years into this. Like, I don't, <laughs> I, I would have gone back to straight or would have maybe tried out, you know, just hiding it under wigs or something if I really truly cared that deeply, but I don't. I don't. I have put way too much time, money, and effort into my hair to, to really give a crap about what other people think about it, negative or otherwise. Ever since going natural, like this is the most confident I have I've felt. This is the most confident I've felt about my hair. I think it looks great, <laughs> you know, regardless. Like, you know, it's nice when other people acknowledge that, but, but like even the positive interactions can be uncomfortable because it's just like how dramatic some people get like oh my god i love your hair and it's just like okay don't have a freaking aneurysm like just relax like i appreciate you acknowledging how awesome my hair is i already know that but like just just relax relax holy crap it's just it's kind of the over excitement and then like I don't know, it's just, there's, oh my God, is it real? Can I touch it? Like, you know, how, you know, what do you mix with? You know, like, how do you get your hair like that? And they just completely lose their minds. Like, hold on, hold on, Becky. <laughs> hold on. You caught me off guard there. I was looking at carrots and you just came flying around the corner. I was not prepared for this. So yes, you know, some even the positive reactions can be overwhelming, completely overwhelming. I mean, I've had people literally be like, I saw you on the other side of the store and I just had to come, like, you, you followed me? Like, yeah. I mean, I'm not trying to be like, 
a Debbie Downer or anything. Like, I'm not trying to be like, you know, no one's ever allowed to talk to me or acknowledge my hair ever. It's just, it's how you react. You know, I would prefer a, you know, I love your hair, you know, it's really pretty. And then continuing on your day instead of the like, you know, giant gasp and like screaming at me halfway down the aisle or like, you know, admitting you just followed me halfway around the store like, or, you know, just staring at me and glaring at me or making comments about my hair that were completely unnecessary. Yeah, you can ignore them. You can flip the energy. You can physically block them. You can put space between you and that person. There's, there's, there's many, 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 many ways of handling people's reactions or, you know, I don't like doing it. Some people just are like, yeah, touch my hair, you know, feel it, be on your way. Personally, I'm like, we're in the middle of a pandemic. I don't know if you washed your hands today. I don't want you touching me. Yeah, but those are some of the ways that I have so far handled people's reactions and it's gonna be different for everybody depending on the situation, depending on how that person is acting. My main point is don't be afraid to confront it, whether it's with kindness or having to set a boundary and just not letting those reactions, positive or negative, affect how you feel about your hair, you know, whether you wanna wear it or not. Still wear it, still wear it. It's unique, it's gonna garner attention sometimes, and it's just, I guess it's just part of our experience. But be proud of it, you've put all this time and effort into it, but that doesn't, your hair is also not a free invite for people to touch you or put hands on you, just, just remember that. Please, let me know, comment down below some stories you have, you know, how you have handled how people react to your hair, or just, just stories in general, I would love to read them. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. Keep blowing and I'll see you guys in my next video.